There I am. Okay. Recording in progress. Making progress. Somebody logged in. Somebody logged in. Good. You're good to go. Mm. Hi there. Hi. Let's see. I'm looking. Sorry, I'm getting really close here. All, all it says is Blow House Plus. Tell That's me. I'm, I'm Bridget. Oh, it's Bridget. Okay. The sun is really bad here. I'm glad you could join us. Okay. Ready to go. Look at how beautiful everything looks. Yeah. What does it say on the on the door? What's that? What is what does it say? What did you write on the door? Oh, it says education is the kindling of the flame. It's by Socrates. Success. So we used to, we've written things from, okay. from Iran. We've written things from uh, Japan. Okay. But I like that one. It's on our, we have, we use that on a t-shirt for our 20th anniversary. Okay. So yeah, it's all ready to go. We're going to get started in just a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay, so as we're getting ready to get started here, we each get to write. So we start by writing a wish, um, some kind of hope, wish, something we want for ourselves or for the world or for someone else. We write it down and we stoke it into the kiln and they always come true so you want to be really thinking carefully about that and you can write something down and throw it in when you come on your shift here okay
Are you in your studio? Yeah. Yeah, you got the you got your um apron yeah. on. My apron you look ready to create. Yeah, I'm just like uh you know doing uh, Wazo. Eliana Pamal de Wazo Papa. Yeah. Twenty-five percent of our lighting ceremony has got to be here. Actually, twenty percent. Twenty percent. Can you hear us, Sylvie? Yeah. Can we, can we eat? Yes. Sylvie mm -hmm. can hear me. She's right here. So we have a total of four of us. Sometimes there's as many as extra classes visiting and such, but in times of COVID, beautifully oh. intimate process. Okay. Glad I'm here. Some authentic ceremonial sake. Okay. I'm smiling, but you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first fire you have met. Yes, it is the first fire. Okay, we will start in just one minute. Yep. Sylvie, your wish is in already? Put your wish in there. Okay, so we have a two part lighting ceremony. Uh, the first part has to do with uh, Shinto traditions that go back. Oh, we got what? Well, okay, good. We got another. Joe is here, so um, we're gonna we're gonna just take another minute so Joe can get his wish written down. Okay. Uh, but as I was saying, there are um, a mo there are two traditions that we're we're following in this ceremony. The first is one that I practiced when I was firing in Japan um, that I learned about from uh, my experiences there, and it really uh, goes back to the Shinto tradition. Mm -hmm. And the Shinto tradition, um, it's, it's Japan's, re, it's a, their indigenous religion it goes back thousands and thousands of years. And it's very unique. And it's a polytheistic religion. It believes that the spirit lives in everything, that there's spirit in the trees, there's spirit in the wood that the trees provide us, there's spirit in the stone, in the brick, there's spirit in water, in air. And so 
the ceremony is really a way of calling to all those spirits and saying, please come together and cooperate with us and help us and let us accomplish something with your powers. And so um, what we do is we have, uh, we have a beautiful array of fruits and vegetables that we offer to the spirits. And I'm very proud to say these all came out of our garden this year. Wow. And actually, so did the flowers. We have lovely flowers. is a rose from a bush that was given to us by my, my mother-in-law who has since passed away. So she's kind of with us in, uh, in spirit there. So that's nice. You know, you kind of gather meaning wherever you want. Um, so that's what's going on here. Um, Joe, did you get your uh, fish in here? Mm -hmm. So we have the flowers are for the spirits. The as our lab technician. He is so multifaceted and accomplished and I know that this is going to be a major influence and it's a really important powerful time for us because we're all we're probably at our lowest ebb as a program because of COVID and I think having someone with Jason's vast experience and commitment will help us return this program to its uh, days of glory which it really has had and, and we do good things here, and I think Jason is the perfect person to help us with that. So, so that's that's why we're we're honoring Jason. So we're going to give him lots of things to do. Actually, that's what we call honoring making them work. <laughs> so this is a, a sake. It's in the, the final thing that we need to offer the spirits. So the kiln always drinks first. Basic rule. Drink a lot. Um, uh, is anybody is anybody more into uh, apple juice than the morning? I guess I'd be. I hate to raise my hand, but yeah. Okay. But that is a, there's a real choice for some people choose not to drink. Oh, some I, people I don't think okay. <laughs> some people choose not to drink, some people choose to drink after like, you know, five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> but it's a ceremony, so uh, but the other thing is um, In the past, we would fill one cup with sake and one cup with juice, and we pass it around the circle, and everybody would drink from the cup. And it's a beautiful thing, but in COVID, we don't do that. So um, now, Jason, remember the splashing right. kiln? I'm going to walk around and splash the kiln with that. So this is, again, part of that um, honoring the kiln. And, um, wow. To the kiln, we really know you're important in all this. Uh, here, get relaxed. <laughs> so that was the sake. What's that? That's sake. Yeah, yeah. So, and and one of the things that's really important to, to mention, and I know some of you've heard me say this before, ceremony is vital. And I have to confess that when I, you know, the first, you know, ten times I did the ceremony, I just was. You know, okay, this is what we do. We do the ceremony. Okay, I'm going to do the ceremony. I didn't really think deeply about what the ceremony is about. And what this ceremony is about is just like all great ceremonies, it's about transition. It's about acknowledging where we've been and where we're going. And so just like a wedding, that's a transition, I'll say. And, um, and so what this, this ceremony says is, look, we've been working so hard. We made our artwork. We 
we fist fired it, we made endless wadding, we've been splitting wood, we've been doing all this work to this moment. And yet this moment is really where it all gets started. This is we're at base camp. This is this is the foundation of everything, but now we need to really, you know, relax, clean up. You can see it's beautifully clean here. Jason did a lot of great work here getting this all set up. And so we're we're now saying we are here and we have the birds are with us here. This, this is because of you, Brigitte. We've got a scrub day who has just come down to talk to us. You can hear him. There we go. Um, yeah, he's ready. And so we have, um, we're all cleaned up and we're, 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 we're ready because what's ahead of us is quite a, a, a journey, quite a climb to the mountaintop. So that's what the ceremony is about. It's just taking a moment to prepare ourselves, get ourselves together and get ready to go. So that's what's happening now. Um, so to start with, we, we already started with uh, pouring some sake, splashing some salt, splashing some sake on the film. The last moment of the uh, Shinto ceremony is a moment where we get quiet, we think of the spirits, and you don't have to think of this as like, you know, everybody has their own religious convictions. This is not, uh, this, this isn't really, this is honoring culture. And so what we're saying is, you know, to whatever extent, extent we accept this idea, we, we are grateful for all the resources we're using. It's kind of like giving thanks at Thanksgiving, um, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face the kiln and in Japan, Japanese tradition, the kiln master claps his hand once. And in, in our tradition here, we're all kiln masters. That's the goal of this class, is to get everybody more and more familiar with and comfortable with firing these kilns. So we all clap at once. So when you see my hands go like this, you're gonna clap with me. That's the So we start by thinking about all that's happening. All the all that's ahead of us, all the great moments we're gonna to have together working for this common goal. How much we appreciate the resources. And that concludes the the, the Shinto part of it, and now we get to the California part of it, the Northern California part. So first we light the kiln, and we're gonna have We've got the four of you lighting the film. Come on in. And all gather around and point your point your, uh, your torches in the center. And when I light this, you want to point them down and start with and that'll it'll catch, and then you regulate this by lifting it up or down, up or slow, down or fast. And then you're just going to bring it over here and gently make sure it can light the paper on fire down here. That's our hand. Let's get down here and light the paper on fire. So here we go. It's really burning well. <laughs> I know, I, I just realized I had to <laughs>
We know you're with us in spirit there. Oh, by the way, everybody, this, this, those of you who don't know, Brigitte is there. Hello. Okay. talk really loud because Brigitte can only hear you. And Brigitte, the two prompts are about, it's about art. Mm -hmm. And it's about, so I want you to say something about what art does for you in your life and something about what COVID has, what the experience of COVID has done for you. Okay. So, um, you can you can think about that because we're going to finish with you and then we're going to throw a stick in for you. Okay. All right. So anybody can start. Okay. Hello. Hello, we're okay. back. Can you hear us? Yes, I lost you. <laughs> yeah, we lost you too. It was a mutual loss. Okay. Mona was frozen. There we go. Okay, good. Um, so, beautiful. So, um, you may have missed that first one. Anybody who want to speak loud, remember you're talking to, you're very famous here. This is uh, I think art's probably been the most stable. So art is the most stable thing for, for Jason during COVID. It's the thing that he just kept doing. And I think uh, mental health have revolved so now and how like COVID has made mental health worse in some ways, but also something to learn from. Yeah. Yeah. So mental health, uh, both in that COVID has uh, caused some stress and, and depression, but at the same time, um, it has helped us all slow down and we rethink, relook at ourselves. Where I can't see her, you 
I'm not going to try to repeat that. Were you able to hear that, Brigitte? No, no it's kind of all fuzzy, but. Uh. OK, quick summary. Art brings balance to her life and soul. And then more of that for about 10 minutes. It was very nice. It was very beautiful, but I don't know how to repeat it. So sorry. So Joe is going to promise to speak really loud. I'll speak loud. Oh, that's good. That's good. I think that art is. Uh, it's metaphor. I mean, there's so many metaphors that pertain to life. Uh, it's a process. I learn from the process. Um, I'm grateful for it. Um, it brings me joy, happiness, and self esteem and confidence. And it's just an all around beautiful thing. Um, and as far as COVID goes, I'm grateful for the experience. Um, it brought me and my family a lot closer together. It, it, uh, it brought clarity and uh, so you know what's important in life and uh, I don't know it's a lot it's a lot simpler than it was before COVID in some ways um, so I don't know everything's good everything's good and uh, art is beautiful and, it, and it's uh, I don't know what else to say honestly but it's been, I am, I'm super grateful for this last year honestly I don't think uh, I don't think anything really terrible has come from it um, as far as my experience goes from brought me and my family close together and my appreciation for art is only really yeah I don't know yeah Sylvie said that so Sylvie said it beautifully <laughs> you would have loved that <laughs> okay good fire away so what I would say is it would echo a lot of what you said uh, what strikes me about what Joe was saying is that COVID has brought me closer to my family. Um, I spent a year at home with my daughter upstairs in class, and every time there was a break in class, she'd come down and she'd sometimes join in the, the office hours that I was having. Um, she would sometimes um, she would um, uh, come down and quiz me on pop culture icons and how much I knew. And, who did I like better than who? And it was just really, it was a good contact, and I enjoyed that very much. There were tragedies in COVID, some of them uh, cultural, and some of them uh, very, very personal. I really felt it when John Prine was killed by COVID, and John Prine was one of my all time heroes. He was the guy that we all have them. Um, when I was learning guitar, at some point, I knew half the songs he ever wrote by heart and we play them and sing them and, and uh, I met him when I was 35 I was introduced by my cousin uh, my dear cousin Margie who was so enthusiastic to reach in contact with my hero she managed to orchestrate it and she introduced me as she was in the green room after the concert and said John this is my cousin Mark he plays your songs better than you do which didn't lead, I would thought we would all go out for beers afterwards, that didn't happen. Uh, but, uh, so, but I, I, the art has brought so much to my life. And, uh, and I think terribly, my father-in-law, 
Here. Bridget, can you tell us? Well, <clears throat> so for me, art is um, I mean, doing ceramic, and uh, it's something that I finally um, discovered that it's really it's it's the it's the making that and the learning and the making that really. Um, make me thrive and and make me happy and every day i i have, i wake up thinking doing something and making and i think it's not for me it's not having the the final um art piece of art because i make it for other and uh, but the fact to make it for other make me feel good also it's um so making art is sharing, I don't know, giving to other some nice thing. And um, and I'm, I'm glad that at the age of 50 plus, I finally find what I can stick with it because all my life I, I knew I was, um, uh, wanted to do something with my hand and artistic but I was always all over the place. But finally, now I can just say it's, that's what I love and that's what I want to keep doing. Um, and then COVID, I guess for me, I mean, it, the ceramics sculpture started a little bit before COVID, but COVID make it speed a little bit more because um, it make me, I bought a kiln and that's a big step. Uh, and it was just when I took the class of uh, Raku with Robin, then COVID started and I said, okay, I have to buy a kiln now. I need to be on my own and start um, going forward uh, building. And then everything went really uh, like putting a puzzle together and then went away. So the COVID is, I mean, I, I used to be at home all the time. So just before I was focusing for my kids and my family, and now they're all grown and they're all doing their own thing. And now I'm focusing on my birds and my sculpture. Great, that's really wonderful. So it's kind of like in the Academy Awards where someone comes up and accepts the award for Brigitte. <laughs> I am taking this piece of wood and putting it into the fire. Sure. Here we go. Dad officially launches our firing and uh, begins the firing. Oh. So that is the official end of our ceremony. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about what, uh, how we chart things. What time is it now?
get together at nine in the morning and drink that's what we do cheers. Um, so this Amen. this well let's let's cheers 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 <laughs> drinking with your someday i'll spend more money on the sake but, yeah. <laughs> i love this particular shape um, yeah great it's um, it's called a bajohai, and it, it gives a little bit of a point to the Japanese culture uh, of ceramics because this is a form that was was originated about 400, 450 years ago during the Edo period. The samurai would, when they were riding, they would have a thong that they would tie around here, and they'd always have a sake cup hanging somewhere in their in their garments. So if they if they were you know going by the roadside and someone was offering them drink or if they stopped they would always have their their ba johai ba is uh, is horse Joe is riding and high is cut ba johai and I just love the fact that there's a form for that need yeah uh, that's <laughs> cool and it also has. That is a udamari. That's a pool of of green ash, and that is shell spray. Yeah. <laughs> so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Comments, questions, thoughts. Okay. So let's say I'm here at midnight, which is where I'm supposed to be. What should I expect? Well, I will be there also to, to tell you about it, but at midnight, we will be firing up here, okay? and temperatures will probably be somewhere between 12 and 16. And we'll be basically what we do. Temperatures drop. And I think by midnight, we'll be at temperatures. Are you watching for the temperature? We're not at that point. We're still climbing. There is a point at which we will 
So when uh, the tunnels need to start to fall, and then we have tunnels throughout the data. So our first tunnel is here. This will be the tunnel part of the tunnel here. One of those will be the first tunnel. Usually it's the lower one, but we can move it here. Not a tunnel in the 2000. The number here, that's the other thing, is that this tells you the change of temperature. Like right now, it's saying 127 degrees. So that's how you bring the temperature. So you can access the accurate overall. That's the reason there's two thermal couples. There's one here, that's T1. You see the other one back there, T2. So, so this one will always be T2. So, in fact, when we start still seeing, And um, right now, we're actually you can see we're outside the kiln. And we're not outside the kiln because if we were to let, let it inside the kiln, it gets too hot. So, what we're going to do is we start having difficulty getting temperature right here. Thank you. 
Today, somewhere around five or six o'clock, we're going to have uh, pizza making. We're going to make uh, about, I've got enough dough for six or seven pizzas, and Gina's bringing in some stuff. So we'll have pizza made in our own pizza kiln. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to. For the record, this is apple juice, not sake. Uh, 
There's some argument uh, that um, we are like Thank 
Uh, not immediate, yeah. but not that distant either. Um, 